Rusticles all along it. To the very front the we have these huge massive mounds of sand. They're about 70 foot in height and they're actually made by Titanic herself. She went down with so much force and so much speed and they rose up around her and said they are about 70 foot, 20 feet away from her top. So if you look closely at the sides, you can make out the, the railings. The They're still attached. The very last part of Titanic to go down. We also have the two lengths of chain running up the front. One of those is for the other, uh, for, for the anchor. The side. other, however, is just for decoration to make it look symmetrical. <laughs> so you have all the different bits there. You have all where they would wind up the chains, the ropes, the cables. There but they're all still Buster's there, still attached. Hand. She is very well preserved for a ship of her age. What we have running really across the front is the lighting four masts. It fell over after she sank, and then we have the entrance into the crow's nest. That um, is where they saw the iceberg for 38 seconds time. before crashing into it. So there was no time to remove out of the way, really. Pretty then we have the first view funnel here, Dr. Howard, so that is actually broken off as it was sinking. If you look here, you can see the two grey squares. They're the, they're the skylights into the Marconi reading rooms, which is where the last messages were transmitted from. We then have this here opening down to where the grand staircase would have sat before it was blown out of the glass dome as the water gushed in. We then have where the second funnel would have sat before it collapsed. And then we have the two lifeboat davits sticking out the side, one on either side. They were to lower down the lifeboats. They are still in the outward position. We then have where it came to a break. So the very front of the ship is very well preserved, as you've seen. That's because as it was sinking, it was filled with water, so there wasn't a change of pressure as it went down. The water outside and the water on the inside were of equal measure, so therefore it didn't crush okay. in itself. Stand However, by. whenever we come to the back of the ship, you will see she is We're down over 12,400 feet. That's because she went down full of air. You should be able so to see it now. The water on the outside, the air on the inside, it crushed in on itself a little bit like a can. Oh, that air that then needs to make that's escape, it. that went out by causing an explosion in the side of the ship. She is, very well, she is very structurally damaged. She is also that's rotating as she went down. So that rotation We're goes looking down at the bow. It's all still two, there. I can, see, coming into I can see the rails. Yes, two um, the no. bits where you would have had the engines sitting before they fell off. They're no longer there. What's that As I was saying, it is very, very um, like damaged. You can't icicles. make out any of the features. Of They're all very really mashed up together. They're what Dr. Bob Ballard calls the side caused by the air escaping. That brought out with it a lot of the debris that led Dr. Ballard to be able to find the ship. Here we go. I'm turning the ROV now the on the port side like of the bow. You can see those rusticles the very last thing you can see here, folks, are the blanks on the other side of the poop deck. The poop deck flipped back on itself because of the explosion. And that is where you would have third class passengers taking their exercise, as well as the first class passengers' dogs. So whenever Dr. Ballard found Titanic, he also found a new type of bacteria that is actually eating away at the ship and all the wood, the metal that it's made out of. So they're not quite sure of the time frame, but eventually Titanic will be consumed by this bacteria. The only things we'll still have down there are the likes of the shoes and the crockery, because they can't be consumed by this bacteria. So folks, you are now exiting through the yellow tunnel. If you haven't done so already, though, take a look at the debris pods. So I'll show you some of the things that was found on the eight mile radius. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. It's what I'm here for. Thank There's you. A hatch. Olympic, yeah. What are those? Capstan. The winding ropes. Let me rotate the arrow. Now we're looking back down the engine chain. Unbelievable. It's pretty cool, huh? It got, whenever it set sail, it hit into and it was dropped. And then it was just dropped. That's a strange box lying there. A heater. From first class. It's falling out of place. You only get third class in this part of the ship. Hang on.